Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to the Oscar nominations of 2016. This is my third time doing this and I'm so pumped to do this. 2015 was a very interesting year for film. I'm curious to know what films are going to be on here. I already know that a certain film has already gotten 12 nominations. I'm not going to say what it is. If you guys want to join me watching my reactions, I'm not going to react to every category. But I'll react to the categories that like shock me or surprise me or whatever and i hope that the president fucks up a name again like she did last year with dick poop hopefully maybe she says like if like um roger deacons is nominated which he probably is she probably say roger dukins that's a bad joke anyway let's jump to my reactions to the 2016 oscar nominations enjoy directors guillermo del toro and ang lee am i wrong Good morning. We have a lot to get to uh, this morning, so I and I will announce the nominees in the first 11 of the 24 categories. Uh, let's get started. For Best Original Song, the nominees are... See you again, better be nominated. Earned it from Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Manta Ray from Racing Extinction. Simple Song Number 3 from Youth. Oh no. Till It Happens to You from The Hunting Ground. And writings on the wall from Spectre. How can you nominate writings on the wall over See You Again? <laughs> Fuck you, Academy. Her achievement is cinematography. The nominees are Carol. Haven't seen it yet. The Hateful Eight. Great cinematography. Mad Max. Fury Road. Excellent cinematography. The Revenant. <laughs> Speechless. And Sicario. Oh. For best documentary. Amy feature, better be nominated. The nominees are. Amy. Yes! Love Amy. Cartel Land. The Look of Silence. What Happened, Miss Simone. Hmm. And Winter for Fire, Ukraine's Fight for Freedom. Okay. But yay, Amy! For achievement in costume design, the nominees are Carol Cinderella. Oh! The Danish Girl. Ugh, look at costumes. Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. Uh, and The Revenant. Cool. For achievement in makeup and hair styling. The nominees Bet you are Dane's looking at a nominee for him wearing Mad a fake wig. Fury Road. Oh, actually it isn't. Yay, Mad Max. The 100-year-old man who climbed out a window and disappeared. And The Revenant. Revenant's probably going to take that home. For best animated short film. I swear God, that Sanjay short film was nominated. I'm going to be pissed. Fair Story. How's that? Prologue. How's that? Sanjay's Super Kim. What? That show was terrible! We Can't Live Without Cosmos. How's that? And World of Tomorrow. You don't nominate Lava? Are you serious? Oh my... Sanjay's Super Team was terrible! For Best Animated Feature Film, the nominees Anomalisa. Anomalisa. Yes! I just saw that a few days ago. Review coming soon. Boy and the World. The fuck is that? Inside Out. Great. Shaun the Sheep movie. Oh, cool. And when Marty was there. I heard that was great, but where's Peanuts? Peanuts, come on. Congratulations. Stay tuned for the second part of our announcement with Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaacs and John Krasinski. Before I get to the second part of the nominations, I just gotta say one thing. Where's See You Again? Why isn't that song nominated? Is it because it's by a rapper? Huh, is that why? Why would you nominate Ryan's on the Wall? See You Again was a critically acclaimed song. It has a great message to it. And you guys snub it? And you nominate a song from Fifty Shades of Grey. Peanuts movie got snubbed too. I don't know why that wasn't nominated. Uh, I'm happy that Amy got nominated for Best Documentary. So let's see what happens with the second part of the nominations. I hope to see some surprises. And I hope that the president does not annoy me. Let's jump cut to that right now. Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaacs and John Krasinski. Welcome. Oh, she looks what skinnier. What an exciting morning. Thank you, Guillermo and Aang, for kicking it off. John, let's continue. Let's do it. She literally just said that last year. For performance year. by an actor in a supporting role, the nominees are 
Christian Bale in The Big Short. Okay, cool. Tom Hardy in The Revenant. Whoa! Mark Ruffalo in Spotlight. Ah, uh, he was good. Mark Rylance in Bridge of Spies. He was Spies. great. And Stallone. And Sylvester Stallone in Creed. Did you hear that cheer? Everyone wants him to win. For performance by an actress in a supporting role, the nominees are Jennifer Jason Lee, The Hateful Eight. Nice. Rooney Mara in Carol. Okay. Rachel McAdams in Spotlight. Whoa! Alicia Vikander in The Danish Girl. Very good. And Kate Winslet in Steve Jobs. She was good. She was great, actually. Rachel McAdams is an Oscar nominee. George Regina George is an Oscar nominee. Sense. Holy shit. The nominees Visual are effects. Ex Machina. Wow. Great, great effects. Mad Max Fury Road. Excellent. The Martian. Fantastic. The Revenant. Not the visual effects having moved, but and good. Star Wars. The yes. Awakens. Excellent, excellent effects. Rachel McAdams is an Oscar nominee. Editing. Holy shit. The nominees are. It's amazing. The Big Short. Good editing. Mad Max Fury Road. This one's getting everything. The what Revenant. The fuck? Okay. Spotlight. Nice. And Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Very good editing. These are all well-edited films. For achievement in production design, the nominees are Bridge of Spies. Good. The Danish Girl. Good sets. Great sets, actually. Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. The Martian. Good. And The Revenant. Very good. For adapted screenplay, the nominees are oh. Charles Randolph and Adam McKay for The Big Short. Cool, great screenplay. Nick Hornby for Brooklyn. Haven't seen it. Phyllis Nage for Carol. Still haven't seen Carol. Drew Goddard for The Martian. Yes! And Emma Donahue for Room. I'm seeing that on Sunday. So excited. For original screenplay, the nominees are Matt Charman, Ethan Cohen, and Joel Cohen for Bridge of Spies. Good screenplay. Alex Garland for Ex Machina. Very good screenplay. Pete Docter, Meg Laveau, nice. Josh Cooley, and Ronnie Del Carmen for Inside Out. Very good screenplay. Josh Singer and Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. Excellent. Excellent screenplay. And Jonathan Herman, Andrea Burlock, <laughs> Lee Savage, and Alan Wankus for Straight Out of Straight Out Come to nominate! I'm so happy right now! For original score, the nominees are Thomas Newman for Bridge of Spies. Great score. Carter Burwell for Carol. I haven't seen Carol. Ennio Morricone for The Hateful Eight. Yes! Johan Johansson for Sicario. Oh, good score. And John Williams for Star Wars. Yes! Awakens. For achievement in directing, the nominees are... Oh boy, here we go. Adam McKay for The Big Short. Yes! Very George cool. George Miller for Mad Max. Of course. Road. <laughs> Alejandro G. Inyaritu for The Revenant. Of course. Lenny Abrahamson for Room. Oh, cool! And Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. Oh, no, Ruby Scott, no! No! The gr good choices. Performance by an the only one I didn't see was Room. Uh oh, the actress. Here we go. Kate Blanchett in Carol. I love Kate Blanchett. Brie Larson in Room. Nice. Still have to see it. Jennifer Lawrence in Joy. She was good, but come on. Charlotte Rampling in 45 Years. I have no idea what that is. And Saoirse Ronan in Brooklyn. Not surprised. I have to see that too. The only one I saw was For performance by Joy. an actor in a leading role, the nominees are Brian Cranston in Trump. Whoa! I have Matt to see Damon that. in The Martian. Yes, Matt Damon! Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. He better win this. Michael Fassbender in Steve Jobs. Very good. And Eddie Redmayne in The Danish Girl. And finally, we are pleased to announce the film selected as the Best Picture nominees. They are The Big Short, Brad cool. Pitt, Dee Dee Gardner, and Jeremy Kleiner, producers. Bridge of Spies, Steven Spielberg, Mark Platt, and Christy McCosco Krieger, producers. Brooklyn, Panola Dwyer, I guess I and see Amanda Brooklyn. Posey, producers. Mad Max Fury Road. There we go. Jeff Mitchell and George Miller, producers. The Martian. Yes, John thank Kinder, you. Ridley Scott, Michael Schaefer, and Mark Huckham, producers. The Revenant. Arnon Milshon, Steve Golan, Alejandro G. Ayotitu, 
Mary Parent and Keith Redman producers. What are you doing? Stop. And Dining producer. And Spotlight. Michael Eight nominees. Schimmer, Steve Golan, Nicole Rocklin, and Bly Pagan Faust producers. For the complete list of all the nominations, please visit Oscar.com. And join us Sunday night, February Shout out president. 20th. Good nominations, lots of good stuff. Um, I'm upset that um, I would have loved if Alicia Vikander got nominated for Ex Machina. I would have loved to have seen See You Again get nominated, like I said before. I'm happy that Amy got nominated. There aren't really many snubs. I wish Stray Out Conte got nominated for Best Picture. I would have loved it if that film got nominated for that award. I'm very surprised that Rachel McAdams got nominated for Best Supporting Actress. I knew that if someone was nominated for Spotlight, it would have been Mark Ruffalo or Michael Keane, but most likely Mark Ruffalo. It's very cool that Rachel McAdams is now an Oscar nominee. That's honestly amazing. She's been one of my favorites for quite some time. Lots of nominations for Mad Max. Ten nominations. Ten. That's incredible. For a big blockbuster film like Mad Max, that's amazing. The Martian get a lot of nominations. I'm very happy about that. Uh, Tom Hardy getting nominated is great, too. I'm glad to know that he's now an Oscar nominee. I wasn't expecting to, for him to get nominated, but it's very cool. And Brian Cranston is now an Oscar nominee. Walter White is now an Oscar-nominated actor. That is fantastic, and I can't wait to see Trumbo. I'm really impressed with the nominations, but the biggest snub that I could think of right now is Quentin Tarantino's script for The Hateful Eight. Why wasn't that film nominated for original screenplay? And Steve Jobs. Where the fuck is Steve Jobs for Adapted Screenplay? The only nominations that Steve Jobs got were Best Actor and Best Supporting Actress. Why wasn't Aaron Sorkin's script nominated? The script that we all thought were, was going to win the Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay was not nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay. That was the best script of 2015. Period. You should have nominated that. Fuck you, Academy. Fuck you for snubbing Aaron Sorkin's script, you pricks. But anyway, those are my reactions to the Oscar nominations. Tell me down below what you follow these nominations. And I can't wait to do this again next year. It was a great doing this again. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys soon.